Okay, so welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be talking all about Arc 2. I wanted to make this video today because I saw something very interesting on Twitter and I wanted to see what you guys thought about this in the comment section down below. This is going to be about the servers and also the way the maps are going to work. We'll talk a little bit about other things we know with Arc 2 as well so far. It should be really exciting. If you guys are excited for Arc 2, smash that like button. Let's try and go for over 1,000 likes on today's video. Make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on all of your Arc 1 and Arc 2 news later this year. We still are meant to be thinking that Arc 2 is coming out in 2022. Um, that's obviously what the estimated date is and the animated series. So let's hope we do see that. So let's get in with the video. And the first thing obviously we're going to be talking about is the servers and the map. So as you can see on your screen right now, I saw this tweet from Dodo Dex, which if you obviously have played Ark for a long time, you will know this is an amazing app to use and to help you out when you're playing. But Dodo Dex basically put, we know basically nothing about Ark 2, which is very true because literally ever since it was announced back in December 2020, that's how long ago it's been since the announcement now, we have heard absolutely nothing. There's been tiny little things um, that people have found out about the trailers. You know, like I've talked about it and I'll talk about some of that stuff later on. But we haven't had anything like a big post talking about the next stages for Arc 2, considering it's meant to be coming out this year. So the tweet was obviously, we know basically nothing about Arc 2, but how would you want multiplayer servers to work? The same 70 person limit, a larger MMO style feel, something different. And obviously we couldn't get any information, but Cedric actually put a tweet replying with obviously someone writing something down on a notepad because, you know, the devs are, ta are still taking in lots of recommendations. Um, but the only thing that does worry about taking the recommendations for the game is I really hope it doesn't mean that it's still in its early stages. You wouldn't think it would be since it was announced back in December 2020. I would have thought they'd been working on it even before they announced it in December 2020. So I do hope they are near some sort of finished stage for the game but this got me thinking about this and I thought how would you guys personally want it to like be because I read a lot of the comments and I agreed with a lot of people but they said it would be really awesome to have a larger more like MMO style feel but you guys you may know about Atlas which was like the kind of second game that wildcard released um, and it was a when it first was released it was not in a good way whatsoever and it just made it pretty unplayable having this they I think they obviously it was a great idea what they were thinking of doing having this open world pirate game where you could you could go wherever you want and there was this massive map never ending map kind of thing but it just was too much now the only way this could be different is the fact that we've got Unreal Engine 5, you know, the new consoles, next generation, it can open up so many more opportunities for a game to have that sort of, you know, never-ending map where, you know, there's no limits on how many people can really join in. I mean, there's always going to be a limit because you can't have like an, a circle with a thousand people on them. Well, you never know. I'm saying this now and in 10 years time, that's probably what, what it's going to be like. Um, but yeah, it would be different to see. I think it would be quite interesting to see if this 70 person limit does change. I personally feel like Wildcard will do this. I mean, having a server with like 200 people on which causes no problems. I know the sound of that right now to you guys probably have, makes you so scared thinking an ARC server with 200 people and they're not even being able to move because of the lag. But let's hope that is completely different with the game. So the maps I would like to sort of see, um, you know, that... And I really like all of the arc maps, but I don't know about you guys, but with the game, every single map is very, very similar. Like, I, I know you get loads of different cool things. Lost Island added in that kind of old school um, Ragnarok and, and uh, the island feel to it. And I do feel like we needed that. But it would be nice to just have like a completely different change to these maps. You know, more that you can do with the actual world. Like, let's say like with Minecraft, you can dig under the world or something like that and it would be cool to get really more involved with the map apart from you know instead of having these like rocks that are there to look nice and you can't break them or you can't you know you can't do anything with the map because there's a lot of things in arc that it's just there to look nice and it just doesn't mean anything as part of the map and obviously there's just like the normal rock and the normal sand that you can pick up and i do feel like it would be really cool if you could actually like dig under the ground and like and i know it would i know it means 
crazy amounts of work but I do believe having the maps you know to sort of have more of a real factor to it you know make it feel like you're actually there I really believe that could be fantastic for Ark 2. So let me know if you guys think a larger MMO style feel to Ark 2 could be the way forward hopefully if it didn't break anything I know as, as I'm saying all of this stuff to you it's probably worrying so many people because I know a lot of people are excited for Ark 2 but the biggest thing that the whole community's thinking is I I think even the devs as well is they do not want this to fail because how horrible would it be to have an arc 2 launch where everyone ends up going back to arc 1 because of the how bad arc 2 is so we just want to make sure that doesn't happen because it will split communities and cause problems. Now, so far, we know that there are going to be new dinos coming to Arc 2. We only know from the trailer that we're getting a chameleon, which is, as you can see, right at the start. We also know that, um, I mean, I'm 99% sure that the dino in the background, I know the devs have teased it a little bit as well, is a Brachiosaurus. So we kind of know right now that we've got a Brachiosaurus, we've got a chameleon in the game, we've got new types of prehistoric birds that are coming to the game. We also, I know it's not really a new dino or creature, but we do have a new plant, which which is coming to the game. I announced that recently in a video a couple of weeks ago. Um and we obviously know that there is going to be some more NPCs added in as well. So what we know as well is Vin Diesel, well we're pretty sure Vin Diesel is not going to be the playable character, um but Pro most likely going to be a NPC that you can interact with in the world of Ark Survival Evolved. I don't know how that's going to take place, but I do believe there is going to be that, that a factor in Ark 2 where there are NPCs walking around doing, you know, creating their tribe. And uh, obviously, we've seen in the trailer these new sort of monster human type uh, people that are going to be having their most likely having their own tribes, and uh, it's going to be that kind of. Uh, uh, you know, fight that you're going to have to have, which is not just going to be against real survivors, you know, other players, actual NPCs. So I think with that in hand, Vin Diesel may be able to help you around as you're walking through Arc 2. Maybe there's actually a spot where he, he's, I don't know whether he's going to be traveling around the map or anything, or whether he will just have his one spot where you can go and visit him, maybe to trade with Vin Diesel or something like that. How weird does this sound? Like, I'm, like, I'm talking about Vin, like going to meet Vin Diesel in Arc. It's just really really weird but definitely a lot of people have been saying in the comments like oh please don't tell me Dom that Vin Diesel is going to be the only character people can play as but no it's not going to be hundreds and hundreds of Vin Diesels running around you don't have to worry about that so I'm interested to see what types of NPCs are going to be like play a role in the game. I've actually done lots of videos talking about, well, not talking, but actually showing gameplay of some of the most popular NPC mods that have been in Ark Survival Evolve One. You know, some of the mods that have been crazy, where these, where there's actual other survivors on single player creating their tribes and building their bases up, and it is, and they start chatting in the, and you can talk within, you know, your own tribe to uh, like these other NPCs. It's so so amazing and I do recommend you watch some of the old NPC video well my mic decided to fall off which uh, wasn't what I had expected for the video but that was pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about really in the video um, of, of what we know about Arc 2 obviously we know that there are some um, new items and weapons I've made plenty of videos about that if you just want to type in Arc 2 new weapons and items then you'll find loads of my videos um, on the ones we know so far but it is really really starting I mean considering Considering we haven't had much news, it is starting to get quite exciting now because we're meant to be getting closer, it's already Feb, and let's just hope we start to get some news closer to the summer. I don't think we're going to be getting that much until art, like later in summer just because we're going to be waiting on the um, free, the final free map for Arc 1, which is the Fjord map, the Viking map, June 2022. But definitely after that, I feel like things are really going to start to like come, like sort of appear, going to be getting more news and we do need that release date anyway that is going to be the end of the video let me know in the comment section i'm looking forward to reading about um, what you guys think of how the servers can work and about the maps and what you think really would be good for arc 2 see you guys later